first of all, let's waste no more time as we say hello to the other member of our team this afternoon. That is Steve Bukowski, who is live and on site at LACC as well. We're excited for everyone, Burko, to get a glimpse of this exclusive golf course. What more can you tell us about this venue? Everyone is excited, no doubt about it. Cara, good afternoon to you as well. You consider the fact when this date was announced, LACC as the host of the U.S. Open, the players couldn't wait to get here as this major championship played at this venue for the very first time. In fact, it's only the fourth USGA event to ever be held here. And there's been a lot of California loving for the U.S. Open in recent years. This is the third time in the last five years the U.S. Open played in the state of California and the 15th all time. But if you go back in the archives over the past 10 years or so, we've seen stars now on the PJ Tour sort of have some breakthrough moments right here at Los Angeles Country Club. You go back to 2013, the Pac-12 Conference Champion Max Homa, a senior then for the Cal Golden Bears. What did he do? He opens with 61, a course record that still stands today, leading Cal to that Pac-12 Conference Championship, part of one of the very best college golf teams ever assembled. And in 2017, you touched on the fact LACC hosts the Walker Cup match in 2017, and Colin Morikawa, Scotty Scheffler, part of that victorious squad. They now return six years later as major champions. So while a lot of individuals have not been out here before, Cara, some have some pretty good experience that they hope will continue as they are now some of the very best in professional golf. And that is worth bearing in mind in terms of how valuable it could be given how new this layout is. is it as you mentioned, Boko, is to so many players in the field. Speaking of which, what are they saying then about what they have seen of the layout so far? Yeah, they're learning quickly. Again, some have been here before. Some have seen it for the very first time. Some maybe haven't been here in four, five, six years. So trying to refamiliarize themselves with LACC. But as we see each and every week at a major championship, they try to get their intel done early, have a game plan ready come Thursday morning. But some early thoughts from some of those that have been been out here over the weekend and what they have seen and maybe what they'll expect to see over the next uh, few days leading up to Thursday's opening round. It's, it's pretty impressive. It's, uh, I mean, I understand why people say it's the most uh, expensive piece of a real estate a golf course sits on. I understand that now. Um, but this reminds me of just a little bit, not that I've played a lot of golf down there, but watch on TV is that you know, you look down number one and you look down number 18, it reminds, you know, of something we see in Australia a little bit. Wider fairways where the ball can run out. Well, obviously, there is rough. And that's what I've seen so much. The fairways aren't overly narrow. Uh, but, you know, if the course can start playing fast and firm, because I think it's still is playing pretty slow right now, uh, the greens and fairways. But, um, yeah, I think the grass around the bunkers is sort of like a uh, St. Augustine grass around the bunkers. And if you get around that stuff, it's, it's pretty gnarly and pretty nasty. But... Uh, it's a it's a beautiful uh, piece of property. I've only played the front nine. Um, I think it's lived up to everything that uh, that I've heard and I've seen so far. And there's different ways you can can play this course. You can, you know a lot of some of the holes you can bounce you know land the ball short and bounce it up into the green. Um, you know it's going to require some um, some some sort of course management, some thought of how to play the hole and, and where to put the ball for you know the best chance to make scores and and. But, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by it so far. It's cool. It's very unique. Uh, it has a wide variety of holes of both very short and very long. Uh, I feel like, I mean, obviously hitting the fairway and getting it in the fairway is a premium. But um, you have a, a lot of wedges in your hands, and then you have a lot of holes where you're just trying to figure out how to make par. So I think it's, it's – um, I have absolutely no idea what the scores are going to be like, but uh, hopefully good for my sake. What are the dangers here? I mean, the rough is very penal. It's 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 – we had a – Pretty much every time we missed the fairway today, it, it took more than one to try to, you know, find the ball. It just is, uh, it sits down. I mean, Bermuda, it, it's very odd for, you know, California, let alone a U.S. Open. We, I don't know if I've ever played a, a U.S. Open on Bermuda, but it's very, very nasty uh, in the rough. Hey, it's a fun place. I've been here a couple times to play prior to uh, U.S. Open being here, but it's been, I can't remember, maybe five or six years. Um, and it's a fun golf course to play, so... Nice to be here now and seeing it with kind of the, the U.S. Open setup and where they, you know, have grown rough in or, or changed fairway lines. Um, but, yeah, it's a lot of character to the place, and um, it kind of, it, I mean, it tests every part um, from, from you're going to get some wedges into par fours. Um, you know, par fives you can score. 
good variety of par threes, a few that are fairly long. But, um, yeah, you gotta, you got to drive it well, and that's, you know, usually what a U.S. Open is all about. Yeah. A trend we have seen in recent years at major championships. Players really trying to conserve their energy for Thursday through Sunday, maybe playing the front nine one morning, the back nine the next day. Car, something to keep in mind talking to some of the players here earlier this afternoon. They might need more than just one full look at LACC to feel fully prepared come the opening round. Yes, yeah, certainly it's going to be a quick study this week, Burko. You know, I won't forget Jason Day didn't really get a chance to play many practice holes leading into the PGA Championship at Oak Hill. Familiarity will likely be key.